Believe it or not, DayZ is not a difficult game, but it can be, especially if you fail to flatten out its learning curve quickly. But there are some things you can do to have a perfect start every time, so you can iron out that difficulty and stop teabagging your boss's morning latte. And here, I'll tell you how. If you liked the video, please leave a like or a subscribe, it really helps me out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Yeah, in this room, definitely. Oh. Bye. Before I continue, if you'd like me to do a perfect start video for each of the coastal towns, let me know in the comments. Also, keep in mind, I've made the video so you can change the order of information here depending on your circumstances. So, the first thing you need to do is be selective with the server. This makes such a huge difference. Choosing the right server is crucial for a perfect start in DayZ. Look for servers with low ping and a moderate player count. This will ensure a smoother gameplay experience with high accounts of loot and reduce the chances of encountering hostile players right off the bat. Prioritize supplies over immediate food needs, which sounds counterintuitive. When you first spawn into the game, it might be tempting to prioritize food especially considering it feels like you're on a clock. But that's not always the best strategy. Instead, focus on gathering essential supplies that will help you survive in the long run. Food will come organically as you scout around. Navigate through docks and head straight to towns. If you happen to spawn near docks, don't spend too much time there. While docks can offer certain supplies like fishing gear and tools, they usually lack essential items like warm clothing and food, which is crucial for beginners. Your primary objective at this stage is to stabilize your situation as quickly as possible. To do that, head to the nearest town. Coastal towns are abundant and you can easily find one by following a road adjacent to an ocean. Always avoid the infected. At this early stage, it's best to avoid encounters with the infected whenever possible. However, if you're keen on learning how to deal with them, there are effective techniques for taking down multiple infected at once. But crouch, hide behind walls and stay out of open areas to avoid them. You can also stealth kill them by approaching them from behind with a one-handed blade and attacking, but this does require a little practice before you master it. Scavenge towns and cities the correct way. Towns and cities are your best bet for finding all essential items you need. There are countless things to loot in DayZ, but the key items you need for longevity are a knife, warm clothing, food, and a melee weapon. Look for houses with blue doors in cities or stared houses in towns. These have a much higher spawn rate around the coast than most other buildings. Sheds and barns are excellent places to find melee weapons, while outhouses often contain knives and other handy tools and food stalls and greenhouses can provide you with much needed sustenance if you prioritize these places over others and just keep hitting them you'll almost certainly find the four things you need quite quickly hit police and medical facilities as soon as you encounter them not all towns have them but when you pass them they are absolutely worth searching adjacent and appropriately dressed zombies also have the chance of spawning their relative items medical items police items or military items but keep in mind you should only take them on if you're confident with a melee weapon because they can quickly destroy your gear even if you survive the encounter but if you're still struggling with finding food and want to know how you can get so much of it you'll have to stack it just click here or for something else click here and as always until next time